unicorns. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my creative process when writing a song, recording a song. I feel like different writers do things different ways. Um, I love to co-write actually because I feel like it pushes me outside of where I would think by myself. You get this sort of magical meeting of the minds. You're gonna end up coming up with something totally different than if I just wrote on my own. And every pairing is a completely different experience. It's really cool to see the things that are consistent about myself when I do that and the things that change from song to song and you know co-write to co-write. Um, it's also very different if you have two people in a room or three people in a room. It just produces wildly different effects. And I think that's really cool and it, it gets very exciting when you're in that space and you know everyone's throwing ideas out. And I think one of the biggest things that I try to stick with when I am co-writing is to not be scared to share an idea. Like no idea is a bad idea. You just say it. If it works for the song, great. If it doesn't, totally fine. You come up with another idea. Always making this space super safe for both people or, you know, however many people are there to just throw out all the ideas, get them all out on the table. And that's when you find those little like nuggets of gold that you go, ah, oh, that's, we found it. You know, we, we tried 800 lines that were crap, but we found the gold. Sometimes the gold is the first thing out of your mouth and sometimes it's the hundredth thing. And there's no right or wrong. You just keep creating, keep creating. Um, and I love that. Sometimes I'll start with a song title or one line or a concept of a story or, an experience that inspired me, or an experience that made me mad, or just a mood, or a, a scenery. I'm very visual when I write and produce songs. I see sounds as colors. I see melodies as full scenes of a movie in color and texture and temperature and whether something is metallic or warm or if it grates at your skin or it makes your teeth stand on edge or I have this producer that I work with a lot and it's amazing you know I'll say I want I want it to be a little more purple or I want it to be a little more orange or you know whatever color or anything that I'm feeling and then we work together to find what sound or what instrument or what musician needs to be in the room to make the song or that line have that little bit of purple. You're painting with sound and you're painting with sound from nothing. If you are working on putting on a show of existing songs, you're still painting with sound. When you perform, you're painting with sound, absolutely. And emotion and communication and all these things. But when you're in the writing and recording process, you're painting with sound from nothing. It doesn't exist yet. And I feel like there's something very spiritual about that. Nothing will ever take the place of the stage. For me, the stage is where I get to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one, and it's the best thing in the world. Totally separate, there is something really just truly magical about creating a song from nothing. You get in a room, maybe you have a guitar player, maybe he plays one lick of a guitar, and that sparks the whole song. You get one melody and there you go. Sometimes it's a word, sometimes it's, maybe you have the chorus already, you know, maybe it's a beat, maybe it's just a groove, maybe it's a vibe. I've written songs from every different angle and I've found that no two collaborations are alike with how you start the song and what that process is gonna be like. You know, you have to be kind of willing to waste it. Just get in the room and write the song. If the song turns out to be spectacular, you've hit it, awesome. If it doesn't, write another one. Write another 10, write another 100. You just gotta write the song. That's my philosophy anyway. Get in the room, write the song, make it as great as it can be, see if it fits or not. Paint with all the colors of the rainbow and uh, make it spectacular. I think an artist, who is a true artist is gonna take something that's very true to themselves and put that out there for other people to hear 
and that's gonna be in its full package. It's gonna have the sonic layers, it's gonna have the lyrics, it's gonna have the melody, it's gonna have the visuals that go along with it, both internally and, you know, if you put it out with a video or something like that or on stage. And that whole thing really should convey what the artist wants to communicate to the audience because that is what it's all about. It's a communication from me to you. There's nothing more pure than that. Hope you like this little insight into my creative process and I will see you guys in another video.